Well, starting tomorrow, a weekend long celebration will be taking place on the Central Coast to honor a film that means a lot to the area. KSBY's Jacob Dizon has more. In the century since it was released in 1923, Cecil DeMille's silent film, The Ten Commandments, has carried much influence over modern cinematography as well as the local community as it was shot right here in the dunes of Guadalupe. Upon production of the film 100 years ago, director Cecil B. DeMille chose to build and shoot his enormous 720-foot set in the Guadalupe Dunes for its resemblance to the Egyptian deserts. DeMille employed practically everybody in town. He used the kids and the townsfolks as extras in the movie. He had people cooking for his crew. There were over 3,500 people out here at any given time. However, following production of the Ten Commandments, instead of removing his massive set pieces from the dunes, DeMille had them buried in the sand, which documentarian Peter Brosnan coined as the lost city of DeMille. Beginning on Friday, a weekend-long celebration will commemorate the Ten Commandments hitting the century mark. We're starting off the weekend with a VIP dinner at the Edwards Barn. We have special guests, Peter Brosnan and Colleen Hamilton. Peter was the one that discovered the lost city of DeMille. But we're also at the very big finale is going to be a screening of the silent movie with live musicians here on stage playing the score live. Daniel Layer, executive director and founder of the Central Coast Film Society, tells me Saturday's lineup of events at the Roya Grande Clark Center will include a film festival and expo where aspiring filmmakers can showcase their work while also learning about the connection the Central Coast has to the Ten Commandments. My whole life, I've been told stories of the Ten Commandments in Guadalupe. It's something that I've always known. I've got pictures of my family climbing on sphinxes from back in the 30s and 40s when they were set out. A lot of locals have those same stories of their families being a part of it. Some way, somehow, they were touched. Meanwhile, for Sunday's portion of the celebration, Erica Weber tells me the festivities will return to Guadalupe, where there will be a film panel, family activities, and opportunities for visitors to shuttle out to dig sites. Being in Guadalupe or the Central Coast, we oftentimes take these things for granted. What we really want to do is get people out here to see this important piece of their culture, their history, their community and really enjoy and embrace what's right here in their own backyard. The production set for the Ten Commandments was the largest and most expensive of its time, including 21 Sphinx statues, 5,000 animals, and 300 chariots. Weber tells me additional digs of the dunes are in the works for the near future as she expects even more artifacts from the film are still buried in the sand to this day. In Guadalupe, Jacob Dizon, KSBY News. And Erica, Erica Webster says Peter Brosnan found his first artifact from the film in 2014 and uncovered a fully intact Sphinx head just three years later. You can find more information about the upcoming Lost City celebration on our website, ksby.com.